जय गुरुदेव डे स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम अगेन इन दिस साइंस क्लास डियर स्टूडेंट्स यू नो वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड चैप्टर नंबर सेवन द लिविंग एंड नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स एंड इन दिस चैप्टर वी हैव डन दिस पार्ट मीन्स मेन कॉमन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर्स ऑफ लिविंग एंड नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स मीन्स वट आर द सिमिलरिटीज बिटवीन लिविंग एंड नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स एंड आफ्टर दैट नाउ वी आर स्टडिंग अबाउट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ लिविंग थिंग्स सो वट आर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ लिविंग थिंग्स दीज आर लिस्टेड बिलो हियर एंड फ्रॉम दीज ऑल वी हैव मीन्स आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू up to the respiration and now you can see here growth i have uh, explained you movement also and even the life span definite life span also we have studied these all are the characteristic features of living things excretion also i told you that removal of waste material by the organism and reproduction this also i explained you that all the living things they can produce their offsprings so this is called reproduction and after that in the last class i have explained you about the nutrition as well as respiration okay in respiration we have studied you uh, about the lungs and land animals or land organisms they are having lungs uh, with the help of lungs they can breathe and plants breathe or take air with the help of stomata tiny pores which are present under side of the leaf and with the help of that they can breathe and in case of water animals these gills are present and these gills can absorb that what uh, oxygen which is dissolved in water okay so these gills are called respiratory organs of water animals so uh, children after this now today we will uh, start this last characteristic feature this is called response to stimuli so what is uh, response to stimuli means whatever we get from the environment according to that sense we a response our body gives some response like um, when we feel so cool when environment is cool at that time we feel so cold and our body start shivering so cold is a stimuli cold weather is a stimuli for our body and what is our response we response uh to the environment by shivering our body okay so that uh, because of shivering we make our body warm so this is called response so this is also one of the um important characteristic feature of living organisms so children not only animals or not only human beings even some plants also response to stimuli so what happens when you accidentally touch a plant uh, sorry touch a hot pan you quickly withdraw your hand this is called a response the hot pan or cause the cause of response is called stimulus means here they have given example of a hot pan whenever you touch any hot object quickly we can withdraw our hand 
जब भी आप किसी चीज़ को गर्म चीज़ को टच करते हो तो एकदम से हम अपने हाथ को वहाँ से हटा लेते हैं तो दिस इज कॉल्ड रेस्पॉन्स एंड हॉट ऑब्जेक्ट इज अ स्टिमुलस ओके हीट इज अ स्टिमुलस फॉर अस सो द हॉट पैन और द कॉज ऑफ रिस्पॉन्स मीन्स जिस वजह से हमने रिस्पॉन्स किया दैट इज कॉल्ड स्टिमुलस एंड वट इज आर एक्शन अगेंस्ट द रिस्पॉन्स दैट इज कॉल्ड रिस्पॉन्स ओके सिमिलरली वी वेन वी टच द लीव्स ऑफ माई मोजा और टच मी नॉट प्लांट द लीव्स ड्रूप टच इज द स्टिमुलस टू बर्ड्स विच द माइमोसा प्लांट इज सेंसिटिव इट रेस्पॉन्ड्स टू वर्ड्स आर स्टिमुलस बाय फोल्डिंग इट्स लीव्स सो चिल्ड्रन इन केस ऑफ प्लांट्स हियर दे हैव गिवन द नेम ऑफ टच मी नॉट प्लांट मे बी यू ऑल हैव सीन दिस प्लांट इट इज कॉल्ड माइमोसा ऑल्सो एंड its scientific name is mimosa and uh, its common name in uh, name is touch me not and this plant uh, is showing response to stimuli means when we touch this uh, plant it immediately close its leaves okay and इट ड्रूप डाउन मीन्स पूरी इसकी जो ब्रांचेस होती हैं या लीव्स होती हैं वो पूरी क्लोज होने लगती हैं और वो झुक जाता है पूरा प्लांट दैट इज़ कॉल्ड ड्रूप डाउन सो दिस इज ऑल्सो आर रिस्पॉन्स अगेंस्ट आर टच सो दिस प्लांट इज ऑल्सो बिकॉज प्लांट्स आर ऑल्सो लिविंग एंड दिस प्लांट शोज रिस्पॉन्स इमीजिएटली सो नेक्स्ट इन द नेक्स्ट पैराग्राफ दे हैव रिटर्न डू प्लांट्स ऑल्सो रिस्पॉन्ड टू लाइट हैव यू एवर सीन द रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ प्लांट्स टू वर्ड्स लाइट एंड ग्रेविटी लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड दिस थ्रू अ सिंपल एक्सपेरिमेंट सो चिल्ड्रन हियर इन दिस पैराग्राफ दे आर आस्किंग क्वेश्चन that um whether the plants respond to light yes you can see all the plants when um they start growing all the stem or shoot part grow towards the light okay means grow upward but all the uh, roots they grow towards the gravity means towards the earth so uh, this is also one of the response by the plant so they have shown it through a simple experiment you can see here activity number 7.1 it is about the to see the response of a plant towards light so we have to take one potted plant means gamle mein ek laga hua chhota plant humko iske liye lena hai aur what method we use place a small potted plant near a window through which light is coming aap window ke paas is plant ko rakh dijiye is pot ko rakh dijiye potted plant ko jahan se light aati ho so keep the plant there for a week days and observe means for few days you can uh, keep there this potted plant so what is observation after a few days means after 3 4 days you will notice that the plant tip is bent towards the direction of light coming through the window means if we keep any potted plant in um, near the window from where light is coming so we can see after 2 3 days that its um, stem 
और लीव स्टार्ट बेंडिंग टूवर्ड्स द लाइट ओके यू कैन चेक इट योर सेल्फ ऑल्सो एट योर होम यू कैन डू दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इट्स वेरी सिंपल सो इट्स कंक्लूजन इज मीन्स कंक्लूजन ऑफ दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इज प्लांट एग्जिबिट फोटोट्रॉपिज्म फोटोट्रॉपिज्म मीन्स बेंडिंग ऑफ अ प्लान टूवर्ड्स लाइट ओके ये देखिए सनलाइट यहाँ से आ रही है तो जिस साइड से सनलाइट आ रही है उस तरफ को प्लांट झुक जाता है तो ये भी एक टाइप का रिस्पॉन्स है प्लांट का टूवर्ड्स लाइट ओके एंड सनफ्लावर प्लांट शोइंग रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ अ प्लान टूवर्ड्स लाइट और सनफ्लावर जो होते हैं वो तो बहुत ही स्ट्रॉन्ग रिस्पॉन्स देते हैं लाइट की तरफ प्लांट्स रेस्पॉन्ड टू लाइट एंड बेंड इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ लाइट दिस रिस्पॉन्स इज कॉल्ड फोटोट्रॉपिज्म ओके मीन्स ऑल द प्लांट्स दे स्टार्ट बेंडिंग टूवर्ड्स लाइट दिस रिस्पॉन्स इज कॉल्ड फोटोट्रॉपिज्म it is the ability of a plant to grow in the direction of the source of light for example sunflower facing sun show phototropism this example i have already told you that sunflower always blooms towards sunlight when you keep its face another side it immediately turns its face uh, towards the direction of sun okay aap sunflower ko kabhi bhi dekho to wo hamesha aise hi hota hai aap kisi bhi taraf ko sunflower jo hai jab flower khile hue hote hain unka face aap kisi bhi taraf ko karke rakh do aur jaise hi sunlight aayegi to slowly slowly they turn its face towards sunlight okay so this is also uh, response to stimuli some animals such as earthworm and cockroach move away from light means uh, they like to live in the dark places that's why these kind of animals they also uh, show response to light means they move away from the light अंडरस्टूड मीन्स रेस्पॉन्स ज़रूरी ये नहीं है कि लाइट की तरफ ही उनको जाएंगे तो तब हम बोलेंगे कि वो रेस्पॉन्स कर रहे हैं रेस्पॉन्स किसी भी तरीके का हो सकता है उसके ऑपोजिट भी हो सकता है उसके तरफ भी हो सकता है तो दीज एनिमल्स दे लाइक टू लिव इन द हिडन प्लेसेस दे ऑलवेज हाइड दम सेल्स एंड दैट्स वाई दे स्टार्ट मूविंग अवे फ्रॉम लाइट so the roots of plants have a tendency to grow towards gravity while stem grow away from it this response of root as uh, or stem growing towards and away from the gravity of earth is known as geotropism so children phototropism is मूवमेंट टूवर्ड्स लाइट रिस्पॉन्स टूवर्ड्स लाइट एंड जियोट्रॉपिज्म इज मूवमेंट टूवर्ड्स अर्थ और मूवमेंट टूवर्ड्स ग्रेविटी दिस इज कॉल्ड जियोट्रॉपिज्म एज यू नो दैट प्लांट्स ऑलवेज मूव अवे फ्रॉम ग्रेविटी ओके मीन्स इफ वी टर्न एनी इंपॉर्टेंट प्लांट लाइक दिस it start growing its stem in the upward direction means it start bending its shoot or stem okay so this is called geotropism and also roots here you can see it's uh, they have shown roots also in this direction also roots always grow towards the gravity so this is one of the um, example of geotropism okay 
after this this exercise is given here deer and cow are plant eating animals and are called autotrophs this is true because deer and cow both are herbivorous animals and uh, no sorry um, these are plant eating animals yes but they are not called autotrophs because autotrophs you know only the plants are called autotrophs because plants only can prepare their food okay those organism which can prepare their own food they are called autotrophs but deer and cow are plant eating animals they can e eat the plant so they are her uh, heterotrophs so this this statement is false digested food combines with oxygen in our body to produce energy uh, yes this statement is true this is called respiration i told you that when oxygen combine with the digested food that time they produce energy so this is the process of respiration it is true earthworms breathe through small pores in their body no it is false because earthworms they breathe through their moist skin a sunflower bending towards the sun showing geotropism no it is false just now children we have studied what is geotropism geotropism means bending towards the gravity response towards the gravity is called geotropism so but sunflower only show phototropism because it bends towards the light it shows its movement towards light so this statement is false fifth is the roots of a plant have a tendency to grow against the gravitational pull uh, of earth uh, no the roots of a plant have a tendency to grow towards the gravitational pull means रूट्स जो होते हैं वो हमेशा ग्रेविटेशन की तरफ ग्रेविटी की तरफ अर्थ की तरफ ही ग्रो करते हैं तो दिस स्टेटमेंट इज कॉल्ड फॉल्स हियर दे हैव रिटर्न अगेंस्ट सो दे दे नॉट ग्रो अगेंस्ट द ग्रेविटी दे ग्रो टुवर्ड्स द ग्रेविटी ओके हियर दे हैव रिटर्न प्लांट्स और रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ अ प्लांट टुवर्ड्स ग्रेविटी so uh, these are the exercise part so children with this you are uh, this chapter is completed after this uh, some keywords they have written like cell these already we have studied cell is a structural unit of all the living organisms the autotrophs you know autotrophs are the organisms that prepare their own food like plants and heterotrophs are organisms that depend uh, uh, depend others for their food like animals and human beings we depend on plants or other animals for our food so we all are heterotrophs and after that phototropism phototropism means response of plants to light and geotropism response of plant to gravity so these are the uh, some important terms or we can say key terms which you have to learn they are new in this chapter you have studied so children with this uh, i conclude my class so in the next class we will write question answers of this chapter okay so by the time you revise that portion what i have taught you so jai gurudev